Welcome to the Bishop Ireton High School semifinal commencement exercises. While this virtual event is not meant to take the place of graduation, it is meant to be a celebration of the class of 2020 and their tremendous accomplishments. To start our prayer service, please welcome Siobhan Chalk. Hi, and good afternoon. I am excited to be able to welcome everyone watching to the senior farewell ceremony for the class of 2020. Celebrating the graduating class is a special tradition and the year wouldn't be complete without it. Of course, we were unaware of the situation we would be facing due to the coronavirus pandemic, but we have made many memories as a class and as a school community. I wanted to start by saying a big thank you to the staff and faculty members and to our parents who have supported us during this difficult time. Your encouragement and reassurance has played a key role in our success. To my fellow seniors, thank you for making the last four years of high school an unforgettable experience. We have all grown during our time at Bishop Ireton, and I know we will take what we've learned and apply it in our next adventure. We have been prepared to take on new challenges, and we know now more than ever how important it is to live in the moment. To the rest of the Bishop Ireton students, please enjoy every moment you have during your four years of high school. I know everyone says it goes by fast, which is very true, but you might not know when your last day of classes will be. Senior year ended abruptly for the class of 2020, so in the future, make sure you go to homecoming, sports games, and other events to spend time with your friends and classmates. Join that club you've been thinking about and step outside of your comfort zone. Stay engaged in the time you get to spend with your classmates and teachers while you walk the halls on Cambridge Road. Bishop Ireton has provided so many different opportunities that are all rooted in our Catholic faith. We celebrated monthly masses, prayed together, and talked about our beliefs, bonding us together as a family. It is uncertain when our Bishop Ireton family will be reunited in person, but we will always have the memories from this past school year. Whether it was during a retreat, a time of personal reflection, or simply a daily action, Ireton has taught us how to deepen our faith and live it more fully each and every day. Later on in this video, you will hear from the rest of the Salesian leaders and Father Noah with different readings, a petition, a reflection, music, and prayer. Before we continue with the ceremony, let us pause for a moment to acknowledge God's presence as I invite everyone to pray the direction of intention. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My God, give me your grace. I offer you all the good that I will do in this action and all the difficulty found in it. Trusting you and your abundant love. Amen. St. Francis de Sales, pray for us. St. Jane de Chantal, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. As we begin this senior farewell for the class of 2020, let us recall that we are in the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of heaven and earth, we are grateful for the blessings of our senior class and for the ways they have enhanced our Bishop Ireton community. Surround our graduates with your grace. Inspire them to grow in your love, even amid the challenges they will face in the future. Help them to put their knowledge, skills, and insights gained through their education to use for the good of all people they will encounter. Help them to listen attentively to your word today that they may go forth from our school prepared and strengthened by your love. And together let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, 
Think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. From the letter of St. Francis de Sales. It is our Lord in his gardener's clothes that you meet every day in one place and another when quite ordinary occasions of mortification come your way. You would like him to offer you different and more distinguished mortifications, but the ones that look best are not in fact the best. Do you not believe that he is saying, Mary, Mary, to you? No, before you see him in his glory, he wants to plant many flowers in your garden. They may be small and humble, but they are the kind that please him. That is why he comes to you clothed in this way. May our hearts be forever united to this, and our will to his good pleasure. Be of good cheer. Let nothing dismay you. Let us belong wholly to God, for God is ours. Amen. May God be praised. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop Burbage, and all leaders of the Catholic Church, that they may remain strong in their faith while demonstrating what it means to live Jesus. We pray to the Lord. For the political leaders of all nations, that they may lead with courage and advocate at all times for truth, justice, and peace, while protecting the dignity of all human life. We pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations, especially to the priesthood and consecrated life, and that those who hear the call live their faith fervently and place their trust in God. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, the poor, the despairing, victims of abuse, crime, and natural disaster, that they may experience the healing, of, healing comfort of Christ in their time of need. We pray to the Lord. For all those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, that they may experience the healing of Jesus and be comforted during this difficult time. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, that they may be brought into the light of heaven and know eternal joy and peace with our Heavenly Father. We pray to the Lord. For the Bishop Ireton graduating class of 2020, that the, as they more fully integrate themselves into the world as disciples of Christ, that they carry with them the love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For the parents and guardians of the Bishop Ireton seniors, that they may trust and find peace in the Lord's plan for their beloved graduates. We pray to the Lord. For all of the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Good afternoon. I am here to offer the final Salesian reflection for the 2019-2020 school year. After each Mass this year, you have heard reflections of St. Francis of Sales' Salesian virtues, given by my fellow Salesian leaders. Opportunities to embrace God's everlasting love for us have happened time and time again through our experiences as members of the Bishop Ireton community. Recognizing that, as St. Francis of Sales says, great occasions for serving God come seldom, but little ones surround us daily. We chose a quote to guide us this school year. Let us belong totally to God and be of good cheer, trusting him. We belong to Bishop Ireton High School, and soon we will join a 50 plus year group of alumni who are also cardinals, who have an education like ours, rooted in Salesian spirituality with Christ at the center. You may be able to identify moments that you felt your faith solidify. It may have been a retreat like Kairos or Camden, a religion class, a sacrament, or an advisory activity. It may have come when a friend was Christ to you, or when you turned the other cheek or a Christ to someone else. We have spent the past four years growing in our faith in an attempt to belong totally to God. And be of good cheer. Perhaps you have faced the challenge of being of good cheer after taking a hard test. To not be able to share your college plans in person with your friends. Maybe you have a friend or group of friends who always know how to make you laugh. Maybe you find joy in learning and growing. Even though everyone agrees that, th that this is not how we expected the year to conclude, we are still being called to be of good cheer. We know that joy comes from love, love from belonging, and belonging from trusting. Trusting in him. Keeping our faith alive through this global pandemic has been and may continue to be a challenge for all of us. These challenges have helped us as individuals to come together with our community to find new ways to enrich our faith and ultimately our lives. When we open our hearts to trusting God, he returns that trust. Maybe you have felt God's trust in you as your confidence grew before a big game or race or performance. 
Maybe you have recognized a time when you have faltered and broken that trust and repented because we have a savior who trusts us and we trust him. This trust comes from a deep knowledge of God. And we have just spent four years in classes that help us, helped us grow closer to him as we have learned more and more about him and his love for us. Belonging totally to God and being of good cheer and trusting in him allows us to appreciate and value the Salesian virtues we heard about in Reflections this past year. We have also heard Reflections offered about kindness, gentleness, humility, simplicity, hospitality, gratitude, patience, generosity, honesty, cheerful optimism, and concern for others. Each one of these Salesian virtues has been nurtured at Bishop Ireton, and because these virtues have become second nature to us, it is important that we remind ourselves how special each one is. At BI, we encountered authentic kindness from our school counselors, school expectations enforced with gentleness and respect, coaches, directors, and moderators who model humility, and three years of construction does yield appreciation for simple pleasures and reveals the need for simplicity. We've witnessed hospitality from our BI Moms Club and the PTO, who brings us cookies, makes hot chocolate bars, and who love us and pray for us. I speak for a class when I share our gratitude to our parents and families for believing in us and investing in our futures with the Bishop Ireton education. We have firsthand examples of patience from our teachers when our assignments have been a few days late and generosity has been modeled for us by the supporters of our school who helped fund an incredible new building. Honesty is a consistent expectation exemplified by our student honor council and our school honor code. Cheerful optimism from the staff of BI, modeled by the leadership of Mrs. McNutt and Mrs. Tobin. And a genuine concern for others. The Bishop of Ireton class of 2020 is made up of talented, smart, and resilient students who consistently show up for each other. These virtues that we have come to know so well will continue to guide us on our own uncharted paths. Being asked to come up with a quote from our patron, St. Francis of Sales, that would become a theme for the next year was not an easy task, but little did we know the challenges we'd be facing would be unprecedented, unplanned for, and unlike anything anyone we know has ever lived through. When you reflect on your time at Bishop Ireton, I hope you always remember the things that did happen instead of what did not. Cherish the instances where you felt you belonged, where you found good cheer, and where you trusted in him. Thank you. Music is a powerful tool. We can use it to communicate emotion and bridge gaps between strangers. Same is true in our relationship with God. We can use it to express ourselves and talk to Him. As Ali said, the opportunity to embrace God's love happens daily as members of the Bishop Ireton community. I ask you to take a few moments to reflect on the great memories from this year and thank God for the experiences He's given us. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, pour out your peace and blessings upon the Bishop Ireton High School class of 2020. Fill them with hope and courage to be your faithful witnesses as they advance always in their future endeavors. Keep them close to your heart and protect them from the poison of sin and from all that might separate them from you. May they joyfully follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit and continue to learn and practice a greater love for you and their neighbor. Encourage them to draw closer to you each day in prayer and help them to become saints. Inspired by the saints who have gone before them, 
May they entrust themselves to your holy will, always growing in likeness to the mind of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And all this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Congratulations to the Bishop Ireton class of 2020. Dear graduates, first of all, sincere congratulations to all of you. From my visits with you over these past several years, I hope you know how much I have appreciated getting to know you and visiting with you whenever I could. Those visits brought me great joy. I fully understand that your high school graduation experience is radically different because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I know this is disappointing for you and I share that disappointment. But dear graduates, as we take note of your accomplishments in this virtual way, let me submit that the challenges of the past two months made your earning of these diplomas even more significant. You have navigated uncertainty, disruption, and separation in ways that have strengthened your resilience, and I hope your faith as well. Along with your parents and teachers, you have to Use a slogan from the United States Marine Corps, improvise, adapt it, and overcome. With that mindset, perhaps without realizing it, you have developed skills and a resilience that will serve you well when facing future challenges. I also imagine that you have proven yourselves capable of doing things you did not know you could do. Early on in this pandemic, you had to accept that things were going to change that we would not return to school, that there would be no prom, no spring sports, and no in-person graduation. I'm sure that coming to that acceptance was difficult. Yet, moved by the Holy Spirit, you persevered and found ways to serve others, to create personal protective equipment for healthcare workers, organize food drives, reach out to those who are confined and serve your own families by helping your siblings and supporting your parents. And in doing so, you have demonstrated a profound love for the Lord and your neighbor. In the words of St. Faustina, your actions are explained this way. Love is a mystery that transforms everything it touches into beautiful things that are pleasing to God. In light of the fact that some uncertainty remains on the horizon, I encourage you in your prayer lives to continue asking the Lord to send forth the Holy Spirit to guide you through future uncertainties. Having been formed in faith and educated well in our diocesan high schools, you are called now to continue your preparation by further developing the gifts and talents God has given you so that you may use them in service to him and to others. Congratulations, class of 2020. On your very special graduation day, know that I am proud of you, and my prayers are with you and with your parents and guardians and all who have been there for you along the way. I pray that this very special moment and this significant accomplishment is one you will celebrate joyfully and remember throughout your life. May you go forward applying what you have learned throughout your Catholic education and be transformed by the love of Christ now and always. Congratulations, dear graduates. Bishop Byerton, class of 2020, on behalf of the Office of Catholic Schools, I extend to you my sincere congratulations on this significant accomplishment in your life. I congratulate you, I congratulate your parents, and I wanna remind you that as you celebrate this moment, there are people all over the diocese who share in this uh, significant accomplishment of yours in some way. I'm thinking of your teachers in your parish schools, your CCD teachers, your scoutmasters, your coaches, so many people who are aware that you are graduating and join you in celebrating on this day. Congratulations, and God bless you all in the future. Please welcome Dean of Students Zach Bass and Director of Counseling Aaron O'Leary for the presentation of the Senior Farewell Awards. Today we have joined together from places near and far to celebrate with the Class of 2020 and their families. 
We will recognize the many achievements that this class has earned and we will share in their joy. First, we will recognize a student in the class of 2020 who will be attending the United States Service Academy. This year, we have one student who will be going on to study and serve at the United States Naval Academy. The mission of the Naval Academy is to develop midshipmen morally, mentally, physically, and to imbue them with the highest ideals of duty, honor, and loyalty in order to graduate leaders who are dedicated to a career of naval service and have potential for future development in mind and character to assume the highest responsibilities of command, citizenship, and government. We would like to congratulate Isabel Inez Thornburg and wish her well as she begins her education and service to our country. We are proud of you, Isabel, for both earning and accepting this appointment and wish you all the best in Annapolis, Maryland. There are four members of the class of 2020 who have been named Commended Scholars by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. We are pleased to recognize Maxwell Stanton Dodson, Kathleen Cecilia McNerney, Trey Pallas, and Nancy Jane Paisano. Additionally, we are excited to announce that Samantha Rose Fisher and Grace Eleanor Fisher are National Merit Scholarship Program finalists. Congratulations to you all. Our next award is a joint endeavor between the Bishop Iredin Parent Teacher Organization, the Bishop Iredin Athletic Boosters, and the Bishop Iredin Drama Boosters. Together, these organizations are pleased to present the 19th Annual Reverend William J. Metzger Award for Outstanding Leadership in School and Community Affairs. In addition to the medal, each student will receive $500. These students were selected based on demonstrated leadership and scholarship while embodying the spirit of St. Francis de Sales. Our recipients are Riley Elaine Casey, Gabriella Tikal Garcia, Oliver Peka Corca, Patrick Francis Scolise, Jonah Patrick Smith, Fatima Guadalupe Urcias Salinas. Congratulations to you all. Your checks are in the mail. We will now recognize the recipients of the Bishop Ireton Medals of Excellence. I have the pleasure of announcing the recipients of these awards on behalf of the faculty and administration. These awards serve as recognition of excellence in academic and co-curricular activities at Bishop Ireton High School. Some of these Bishop Ireton medals are given in the name of the founding pastors of the school, and some are named for distinguished members of our school community whose contributions will long be remembered. There are two distinctions for these recognitions, honorable mention and the recipient of the Bishop Ireton medal. Medals will be distributed to recipients when it is safe for us to all be together again. These awards will be highlighted in our future graduation program. The first award is the Reverend John J. Russell Award for Excellence in Religious Studies. Honorable mention is awarded to Grace Eleanor Fisher, and the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Nancy Jane Pisano. The Dr. Beatrice Hernandez Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Study of Religion. Honorable mention is awarded to Nancy Jane Pisano, and the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Catherine Yusong Burgess. The Monsignor Martin Quinn Award for Excellence in English. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Grace Eleanor Fisher. In recognition of excellence in the craft of writing with a style that displays an original voice and which reflects our Catholic and Salesian heritage, the Brother Richard Wilson T.O.R. Award for Excellence in Rhetoric and Writing. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Samantha Rose Fisher. The Monsignor Eugene Walsh Award for Excellence in Mathematics. Honorable mention is awarded to Melissa Naup Nguyen. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Trey Pallas. The Monsignor Leo Massey Award for Excellence in the Natural Sciences. Honorable mention is awarded to Sarah Elizabeth Milam. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Melissa Nahupan Nguyen. The Bishop Ireton Medal for Excellence in Physics. Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Trey Pallas. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Sophia Ryer. The Bishop Ireton Medal for Excellence in Chemistry. 
Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Rebecca L. Turi. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Patrick Francis Scolese and Samantha Rose Fisher. The Bishop Ireton Medal for Excellence in Engineering. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Claire Elizabeth Gotten and Cecilia Collins Fenton. The Eugene L. Jasper Award for Excellence in History. Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Patrick Francis Scolese. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Eleanor Louise Smith. The Kenneth Basquette Award for Excellence in Government. Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Catherine Liss and Molly Tess McDade. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Patrick Francis Scolese. The Award for Excellence in Psychology. Honorable mention recognition goes to Angeline Carol Nguyen. And the Bishop Ireton Medal goes to Patrick Francis Scolese. The Award for Excellence in Geography. Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Aidan Patrick Ahern and Grace Catherine Lezik, and the Bishop Ironton Medal is awarded to Zoe Layla Frey. The Dr. Maria Gutart Award for Excellence in Spanish. Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Siobhan Rose Chalk and Fatima Guadalupe Urias Salinas, and the Bishop Ironton Medal is awarded to Trey Palace and Rebecca L. Chori. The Reverend Robert McNally Award for Excellence in French. Honorable mention recognition goes to Gabriela Takao Garcia and Sophie Melinda Ryder. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to LSR Ryan Grimmett and Nancy Jane Pisano. The Award for Excellence in Italian. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Patrick Francis Scolese and Caroline Elizabeth Perez. The Philip H. Grimes Award for Excellence in German. Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Amelia Marie Lenz. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Aisling Lorraine Halliden. The Award for Excellence in Latin. Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Eleanor Louise Smith, and the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Melissa Nahop Hun Nguyen. The Reverend Robert Reese Award for Excellence in Computer Science. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to William Frederick Mueller and Francesca Dominique Padilla Ku. The Award for Excellence in Theater Arts. Honorable Mention Recognition is awarded to Dylan Michael Schreckheis. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Kathleen Cecilia McNerney and Owen Mitchell Peters. The Award for Excellence in Technical Theater. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Samantha Jane Little. The Award for Excellence in Costume Design and Construction. Honorable Mention Recognition is awarded to Caroline Elizabeth Perez, and the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Jonah Patrick Smith. The Award for Excellence in Art History. Honorable Mention Recognition goes to LSR Ryan Grimmett, and the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Samantha Rose Fisher, Grace Eleanor Fisher, and Catherine Gale Fisher. The Brother Bill Wharf Award for Excellence in Art. Honorable mention recognition goes to Mary Ryan Herter, and the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Samantha Jane Little. The Outstanding Band Member Award. Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Duncan Richard Beach. The Dr. Garwood P. Whaley Award for Excellence in Music. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Matthew Fonda. The Award for Excellence in Economics. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Vaughn Stevens Smethurst. The Award for Excellence in Publications for the Flight Yearbook. 
Honorable mention recognition is awarded to Connor Mark Casey, Hannah Margaret Snell, Courtney Antonia Staggs, and Kyle Patrick Webster. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Rebecca Allison D'Souza. The Award for Excellence in Publication for Cambridge Road. The Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Caroline Joyce Keir and Gabriela Takao Garcia. The Award for Excellence in Publication for the BI Word. Honorable Mention Recognition is awarded to Emily Fergus Ambury and Rachel Elizabeth Gordon. And the Bishop Ireton Medal goes to Maya Renee Robinson. The Award for Excellence in Academics and Athletics. Honorable Mention Recognition goes to Amelia Marie Lenz and William Frederick Mueller. And the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Siobhan Rose Chalk and Duncan Richard Beach. The Award for the Highest Average in Science and Religion. Honorable Mention Recognition goes to Melissa Nahop Hu Nguyen, and the Bishop Ireton Medal is awarded to Trey Palace. The next award is presented to the two seniors who have shown the most improvement in their senior year. For outstanding academic improvement and with sincere best wishes for continued success, Bishop Ireton is proud to present the Reverend Paul Kenny Award to Vaughn Stevens Smethurst and Michael Alexander Held. The Knights of Columbus Young Man and Young Woman of the Year Award to seniors from two of our local parishes, the Basilica of St. Mary and St. Bernadette. These four students were selected for their academic excellence, civic, religious, and school-related involvement, and participation in extracurricular activities. The following students were selected by Bishop Ireton for the Knights of Columbus. The Knights of Columbus Young Man and Young Woman of the Year for the Basilica of St. Mary are Kelly Marion Riley, and Peter George Gaetto. From St. Bernadette, the Knights recognize Kaylee Marie Bala and J. Sajib Joshua Nana Sekaranon. The obligation of Christian service is of particular importance in our Salesian community learning. These next awards celebrate the contributions made by individual students who have gone above and beyond the call of duty to serve the Bishop Arden High School community or the community at large. Preston W. Reed Outstanding Service Award is presented annually for exemplary dedication and unselfish commitment to the success of our campus ministry program. The Preston W. Reed Bishop Arden Service Award recipient is Karen James Ferguson. Bishop Arden medals given in the name of the first principal of Bishop Arden High School are presented annually to those students who have applied their leadership abilities to make Bishop Arden a better place as dedicated members of the student government and Student Honor Council. With sincere thanks for their time and hard work, the Reverend Joseph McKay Award for Outstanding Qualities of Positive Leadership, the medal is awarded to Kieran James Ferguson, Gabriela Takal Garcia, Reagan Elizabeth Guzik, Julia Marie Hart, Mary Ryan Huter, William Frederick Mueller, Nancy Jane Paisano, Kelly Marion Riley, Patrick Francis Scalise, Jonah Patrick Smith, Simowit Solomon, Maeve Elizabeth Webster, Jennifer Wang Zhao. Thank you for your hard work and dedication to our school. That concludes the senior awards. Next, you will hear from the salutatorian for the class of 2020, Fatima Guadalupe Urias Salinas. Your Excellency Bishop Burbage, Dr. Rohrbach, Father Noah, Mrs. McNutt, Mrs. Tobin, faculty, family, friends, and classmates. Thank you all for joining this joyous celebration for the class of 2020. I am truly honored and blessed to be able to speak on behalf of such an amazing graduating class on a day that so many of us have eagerly anticipated. Although this is not what we all imagined, it is uniquely ours and speaks volumes to our flexibility as a class to kick off this new decade. It is important to emphasize that we were able to be valiant cardinals because of the unconditional love and support from those that make Ireton a special place to grow. 
To our teachers, our advisors, our mentors, I speak for our class when I say, thank you. To my own parents and family, I would like to say, gracias por su apoyo incondicional que siempre me han dado. También les quiero agradecer todo el sacrificio que han hecho por mí para que yo tuviera más oportunidades. Los quiero mucho. On social media, there are numerous posts that delineate the lives of students belonging to the class of 2020 as surrounded by a series of unfortunate events. However, it is important to note that we have been able to keep up with an ever-changing world from the beginning. We are resilient, we are fighters, we are able to conquer obstacles in the road. I, for one, definitely think that warrants a kudos munchie for Mr. Rauer. Just look at us right now, who would have thought? Remember that joke five years ago when people would ask, where do you see yourself in five years? And the person would answer, oh, I don't know, I don't have 2020 vision. Well, I guess we all need glasses because life being waylaid by a global pandemic was an unforeseen event. What's next, an internet pandemic where all the computers get a virus? That brings the word viral to a whole new level. All jokes aside, a virtual semi-commencement exercise is the most Gen Z thing ever. Since they say hindsight is 2020, today, let's look back at our high school journey instead of trying to predict the future, especially when now we truly know anything can happen. Something we learned from day one is the often heard quotation by St. Francis de Sales, be who you are and be that well. Interestingly, we have unconsciously been saying it to people when they ask us what school we attend. Most of us nonchalantly say, be I. Think about it, be I. In other words, we are saying, be myself, almost as a subliminal reminder to be ourselves and be that well. Even though it sounds like a reach, as Bishop Ireton students, we know this is more than just a coincidence. So, when were we shrouded with this fresh identity? In 2016, we plunged into a new school, and for some of us, myself included, this was the first time ever that we wore a uniform. Wearing that Ireton uniform lets the world know what we represent and what represents us. Then we learned the cheers and we were encouraged to go to the first football game that weekend. Of course, as freshmen, we knew our place was in the back of the bleachers, but being officially high school students, we could care less because we were eager to make new friends and be integrated into the Bishop Ireton community. Little did we know that our graduation would be something out of a young adult dystopian novel, but that's okay. It's ours. Furthermore, we met some of our lifelong friends and perhaps made some embarrassing, awkward memories during that process. But uh, we met our closest friends during freshman orientation week and the ones we would search for in the old cramped cafeteria. We looked nervously around the classroom and the direction of intention was spoken over the PA system. Over time, we understood its meaning and even learned how to say it in another language. Throughout freshman year, we experienced our first all-nighters trying to put together a Mr. Rauer project. But don't worry if you didn't have Mr. Rauer. I know we all had to run the mile during PE class. Like the Coliseum project and that mile run wake-up call, we experienced numerous other firsts, such as our first sports practice or theater audition, our first school dance or club meeting, and our first club fair where many of us signed up for all the clubs just because they were there. Nevertheless, we survived what we thought was daunting. Soon enough, our sophomore year arrived and we had grown accustomed to the school, or so we thought. The etymology of the word sophomore suggests its meaning to be wise fool. We were wise fools because although we had gained knowledge of the school, the physical building was about to change. The construction started and suddenly the incessant clamor of different power tools filled the classrooms. I will never forget the look on Mrs. West's face when she was trying to teach us how to balance equations and all you could hear was drilling. At that moment, we wondered what these new spaces would look like. As the building began to rapidly take shape, so did our Salesian identities. Despite all of the distractions that were happening around us, our class acclimated and was able to learn in our new environment. So, how is that possible? Because it's very Ireton. I would hear that phrase being thrown around whenever something puzzling would happen. This comes from an aging building under construction, 800 students, 100 plus faculty and staff becoming a family and showing our valor as a school community. Moments like these are like a rallying cry and we all come together as a school community and offer it to God. But why is this? 
It is because at 201 Cambridge Road, we are aware of our identity, and we know that God has it all under control. He is shaping us in our experiences to make us into versions of ourselves modeled after His own image and likeness. It is not a perfectly formed path, but a path authentically our own. That is so Ireton. Junior year, many of us learn the well-known St. Francis of Sales quotation, be who you are and be that well, actually is longer and much more meaningful. The complete sentence reads, be who you are and be that well, to give honor to the master craftsman whose handiwork you are. Whoa. Hearing that was shocking, but in the best way possible. It serves as a reminder that we give honor to the master craftsman when we actively participate in various activities that make our school community a much better place. It also emphasizes that it is important for us to live up to these words and realize our importance as a part of God's beautiful creation. This could not have come at a better time because junior year was rumored to be the most important and difficult year in high school. As a class, we practiced these words when we took leadership roles in numerous service projects, athletics, theater, student government, and other endeavors. It is laudable to be a leader, even though sometimes we did not know what the next event would be, but that's life. Senior year is the liminal moment before you are thrown into the unknown. It is crazy to think that four years ago, some of us couldn't even open a locker, and now we are opening our own bank accounts after driving to the bank with our own money. The beginning of senior year seems like years ago because of the super saturated, strange state of our world today. However, the words of St. Francis of Sales, be who you are and be that well to give honor to the master craftsman whose handiwork you are, are now engraved into our souls, and we are more than prepared for worldly challenges. We, at the drop of a hat, can recite the direction of intention in two languages in our sleep. We smile when our favorite song, Live Jesus, is played during Mass, and our hearts are filled with joy. This year, like most of our high school experience, continued to test our ability to adapt to changes such as No More Oblate House, the ever-changing cafeteria, the switch from sage dining to three brothers, a new uniform, a new bell schedule, less parking spaces followed by more parking spaces, a new head of school, the opening of the new building, and COVID-19 distance learning, which may be the long sought after cure for senioritis. That said, we are called to direct our intention, offer all the good that we will do in our lives and all the difficulty found in it, trusting in him and his abundant love. Ultimately, the past four years have been an adventure, our adventure. It has prepared us to grow or planted, weeds and flowers together indeed. That is what it means to be who we are, to be that well, to give honor to the master craftsman whose handiwork we are, to spread joy, and to live Jesus. Thank you.
My most embarrassing moment at Ireton probably has to be when I damaged everybody's ears in the cafeteria, especially those who are sitting at my table, because uh, my personal uh, protection for when I went home consisted of an electronic whistle that screeched at like six gigahertz or megahertz or something like that. And um, yeah, so it went off and we couldn't find a way to turn it off because we lost the pin that turned it off. And it, it hurt in the middle of the cafeteria during lunch. And then Miss Whitley had to wrap it up in a bunch of sweaters and stuff it deep within a locker because it was so loud. And we didn't find it until like the pin to close it until like 15 minutes later, so. Yeah, that's how everybody found out about what I do and what I carry to go home. Yep. Okay, so uh, like sophomore year, junior year, I went through a phase of banging my head into lockers because I found out the way they're made in the middle, the metal is not hard at all. And you gotta hit it right there on your head. You bang it right in the middle, it doesn't even hurt. So I'll just do it all the time in between classes, as many times as I could. And it was a great time. I have an embarrassing memory where during lunch, sophomore year, it was Catholic Schools Week. One of the seniors said that it was uh, time for a lip sync battle. And I decided, let's give it a shot. And so I did. And uh, one of the options were Firework by Katy Perry or Toxic by Britney Spears. So I chose Toxic by Britney Spears. And I sort of just went everywhere in the cafeteria, but then when it came to the part where it was too high, can't come down, I decided to try and leap, but I fell and hit a chair. <laughs> My most embarrassing moment at Bishop Ireton was the first day of school freshman year when I wore this. I thought that this was the spring uniform and the long sleeve sweater was the winter uniform. So I pulled up being the only person wearing this on top of the short white sleeve collared shirt. Apparently everybody else got the memo except for me. So my most embarrassing memory at Ireton was definitely freshman year. Um, I had this large iced coffee from Dunkin' Donut, but I had it during first period. So I was trying to walk from first period to my advisory. My first period was on the third floor and I spilled my coffee in the middle of the third floor hallway. And um, so I probably started crying. I don't remember, but like I wouldn't be surprised if I did. And I was just like freaking out. I ran to the bathroom, like blocked everyone, like the entire hallway because of my spilled coffee while I was on the floor trying to clean it. And I remember like Mario tried helping me. It was it was a train wreck. I've had my fair share of embarrassing moments at Bishop Ireton uh, last fall, fall of junior year. I had a real embarrassing moment during the grail breaking ceremony when I hopped in front of the camera five or six times. And what I thought one of the best parts of that was, was um, I thought I was going to get in a lot of trouble for it. But when I went up to my locker after the assembly, Mr. Bass was waiting for me at my locker, just laughing. And that part was pretty amazing. If I had to highlight one teacher, it would hands down be my girl, Miss Duffy. I've had her since sophomore year and she's never failed to bring a smile to my face. Also, a quick shout out to Mr. C. One teacher that I'll really miss at uh, BI is Mr. Cogliano, Mr. C. Keep shooting those threes. I like him because he was a really good uh, teacher during my sophomore and uh, junior years, especially for um, Algebra 2 and Geometry, I like him because he adds a little bit of a fun, interactive touch to his lessons. I just wanted to say a quick shout out to Senior Booth for being one of the most patient and understanding teachers I had throughout high school. Gracias por todo, Senior Booth. I just want to give a quick shout out to Miss McNutt for being a great graphic design teacher and swim coach. Thank you so much, Miss McNutt. I did.
Awesome three, the gym went crazy, everyone went crazy. That was epic and definitely unforgettable. My favorite experience at Ireton would definitely have to be Kairos. Something that I'm gonna miss about Ireton is Kairos. Just that ability to see students and teachers outside of an academic setting, being able to grow socially and spiritually together, really gives you a nice time to relax and get to know everyone. Because it helped me to grow unbreakable bonds with people that I had never talked to before. The thing I'm going to miss most about Bishop Ireton is having my sisters in my classes. I'll miss seeing my friends every day and doing the wonderful shows with the theater department. I'm going to miss advisory. Shout out to Miss Gitlin. The thing that I'm going to miss most about the Bishop Ireton community are the friends that I've made and being a part of SCA this year. I'm also going to miss all of the great teachers I've had the past four years. Tis the season of reminiscing. Uh, okay, back in like when it snowed, there was a lot of snow at Bishop Ireton. So I thought it would be a fantastic idea to go out without gloves to make a snowman. And it was great. It had flowers and it was really great. It was a lot of fun. I would do it totally again a hundred times. Hello to the Bishop Ireton class of 2020. I'm so grateful that I had an opportunity to meet you and to work with you uh, during my first year as, as chaplain and during your final year at Bishop Ireton. I wanted to highlight a couple of uh, my memories uh, of your class from this year and then give you a little parting advice uh, upon your graduation. So in no particular order, first of course is the, uh, the girls' powder puff victory. Uh, congratulations on two wins, uh, and even over the team that I was coaching, but that's a memory nonetheless. Uh, TJ Kindle and Connor Casey riding trikes at the class challenge day, definitely a highlight. I also want to uh, remember the Kairos leaders, as well as the retreatants. Thank you for your openness to the grace of the Holy Spirit during those retreats. I also enjoyed playing knockout with you at lunch uh, last fall in the gym. And our Frasati hike last October, which included uh, the cookout and cornhole, very fun. Uh, seeing Kelly and Allie and Jonah and Gabby for morning and afternoon announcements each day. Also practicing with the various sports teams, uh, both in the fall, in the winter, and then also some of the spring sports as well. Uh, getting pied in January, and, and also uh, the fall Camden trip is also definitely a highlight. You know, God called me from Seattle to attend a really small school called Christendom College in Front Royal. That's what brought me to Virginia. It was after graduating that I decided to become a priest in the Arlington Diocese. And then after becoming a priest, uh, after several years serving as a priest, Bishop Burbage sent me uh, to Bishop Ireton. I've been so pleased to serve as chaplain there. But I often wonder, what if I had not chosen to go to Christendom College? My five older siblings had attended a school in California and I chose to attend a different school. So the point I'm trying to make is that where God is leading you will have great impact in your future life. So remain open to the will of God. Remain open to the guidance and the movement of the Holy Spirit. God is in charge. He's in charge of your lives and he loves you immensely. So I encourage you to spend time in daily prayer, opening your heart to the love of God and learning what it means to serve one another. If I can assist you in any way, I hope you will reach out to me. It gives me such uh, great joy to hear from you 
And that's part of my role in being a priest, is to, to serve. To serve as that bridge between God and between humanity. So if I can help you in any way, spiritually or otherwise, I really hope you will reach out and that you will see Bishop Ireton as your home and you'll come back to visit uh, in the years to come. My parting advice to you is to become a saint. One uh, French philosopher once said that the only real tragedy in life is not to become a saint. So become a saint. Stay close to the Lord. Stay close to our Blessed Mother Mary. Spend time in prayer every day and, and get involved in your faith and in, in your future, whether that be in a, a campus ministry or a future parish, whatever that is. God loves you and he wants to be a part of your life. So thank you for your openness during this senior year at Bishop Ireton. I know the challenges that you all faced in, in so many ways, especially this spring, have been unprecedented. But God is still able to work. He still loves you immensely. So may God bless you and know that I am praying for you now and every day. Congratulations, class of 2020. How to describe you? Well, you're welcoming, certainly to this newcomer. You're resilient, whether it's been challenging coursework, uh, ever-changing spaces during construction, or a novel virus that has impacted the entire world. You are spirited, uh, which is not hard to miss when sitting in the stands at a hockey game. And you are unique. No one will ever have the same experiences that you had at Bishop Ireton. So go out, make your mark. You are destined for great things. Be who you are and be that well. Find comfort and strength in your faith and remember that you're always a Cardinal. Advance always, live Jesus, and go Cardinals. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Our annual Margaret Scafati Academic and Service Award Banquet and annual Athletic Banquet were canceled this year. The seniors who earn the recognition at these events will be recognized. Academic Awards will recognize the students who have earned a 4.0 GPA or higher through the third quarter of this academic year as of May 1st. Service Awards have been earned by students who were nominated by their club moderators and school administrators. The Athletic Awards recognized here are the school-wide recognitions voted on by all coaches. Please welcome the Assistant Principal for Academics, Linnell Battle, for the presentation of the Academic Awards. It is my honor at this time to present the members of the Class of 2020 who were receiving an award for academic excellence this school year for earning a 4.0 or higher GPA for the first three quarters of the academic year. Emily. Burgess Ambery, Eamon Cahal Armstrong, Kaylee Marie Bala, Lucy Maureen Barber, Duncan Richard Beach, Catherine Yuanchung Burgess, Patrick Joseph Burns, Rebecca Allison D'Souza, 
Connor Patrick Delaney Maxwell Stanton Dotson Rebecca L. Shuari Cecilia Collins Fenton Grace Eleanor Fisher Catherine Gail Fisher Samantha Rose Fisher Megan Ann Fuller Gabriella Tika Garcia Rachel Elizabeth Gordon Elizar Ryan Grimmett Aislin Lorraine Halladen Julia Marie Hart Benjamin Brian Henshaw Caroline Joyce Keir Oliver Peka Corka Amelia Marie Lentz Catherine S. Liss Samantha Jane Little Molly Tess McDade Kathleen Cecilia McNerning Sarah Elizabeth Milam Tess Margaret Moore William Frederick Mueller Lorena Victoria Murrow Alexander Le Nguyen Angelin Carol Nguyen Melissa Nop Hun Nguyen Francesca Dominique Padilla Ku Trey Palace Caroline Elizabeth Perez Owen Mitchell Peters Nancy Jane Pisano Mary Margaret Elizabeth Quinn Bridget Annalise Yunker Rector Sophie Melinda Reader Sophia K. Ryer Kelly Marion Riley Patrick Francis Scolise Eleanor Louise Smith Simowit Solomon Victoria Elise Thomas Isabel Enos Thornburg Ailita Therese Whalen Maria Nicole Zackham Congratulations to all recipients of these awards that recognize academic excellence. Please welcome the Assistant Principal for Student Life, Mary Jordan, for the presentation of the Service Awards. The first club we will recognize is the African American Heritage and Culture Club, Taylor Clarice Johnson and Brian John Robert Bonquino. The Art Club, Sarah Catherine Lowry. Asian American Heritage Club, Jay Sajeev Joshua Nana Sakarin. Alexander Leigh Nguyen. Richard Kazuyoshi Ferris. Amnesty International Club, Wally Shake. Francesca Dominique Padilla Ku. For the Best Buddies Club, Molly Tess McDade. Catherine S. Liss and Julia Marie Hart. For the Cappies Club, Kathleen Cecilia McNerney. For our Cardinal Crazies Spirit Club, Semowit Solomon, Maeve Elizabeth Webster, 
Riley Elaine Casey, and Isabel Ines Thornburg. Charity Through Medicine, Nancy Jane Pisano. Coding Club, William Frederick Mueller. Cornhole Club, Shane Patrick Lyons. For our Cyber Patriot team, we recognize Maxwell Stanton Dodson. For the Undead Poet Society, Catherine Elizabeth Perez and Elijah Zion Lewis. For the Deutsch Club, we recognize Camille C. Schultz and Aislinn Lorraine Halliden. For the Drama Club, Owen Mitchell Peters. Environmental Club, Francesca Dominique Padilla Koo. For the Frasati Society, Robert Joseph Lorge and Shane Patrick Lyons. The Girls Who Code Club, Emily Burgess Ambry and Francesca Dominique Padilla Koo. For our Haitian Alliance Club, Julia Marie Hart. For our Hack BI3, William Frederick Mueller and Francesca Dominique Padilla Koo. For our Student Honor Council, William Frederick Mueller and Patrick Francis Scalise. For our International Thespian Society, Kathleen Cecilia McNerney. Mock Trial Club, J. Sajeev Joshua Nanasakaran. For our Model United Nations Delegation, Molly Tess McDade, William Frederick Mueller, Wally Shake, and Joshua Kalichi Victor. For the Moot Court Club, Kelly Riley. For the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, Melissa Nakhan Nguyen, and Francesca Dominique Padilla Koo. For the National Art Honor Society, Sarah Catherine Lowry. For the National Honor Society, William Frederick Mueller, Maxwell Stanton Dodson, Molly Tess McDade, and Francesca Dominique Padilla Koo. For the Our Minds Matter Club, Benjamin Brian Hinshaw, Maeve Elizabeth Webster, and Fatima Guadalupe Urias Salinas. The Photography Club, Gabriela Taka Garcia. For our Pro-Life Catholic Witness Club, Rebecca D'Souza. For the American Red Cross Club, Siobhan Rose Chalk. For our Shakespeare Club, Samantha Rose Fisher. Students Against Destructive Decisions, Ailita Therese Whalen, Sarah Elizabeth Milam, Lucy Maureen Barber, and Nancy Jane Pisano. Student Council Association, Gabriela Taka Garcia, and Jonah Patrick Smith. For the Student Global Leadership Club, Annalisa Don Gentili and Keely Marie Pence. The National Spanish Honor Society, Siobhan Rose Chalk and Rebecca Elshuary. For the Video Game Club, J. Sajeev Joshua Nana Sakarin. And finally, Women in Science Club, Zoe. Layla Frey, Jennifer Zhao. Thank you very much and congratulations to all of our recipients of the service award for the class of 2020. Please welcome Athletic Director Bill Simmons for the presentation of the Athletic Awards. Each year, Bishop Ireton High School recognizes a number of exceptional members of our school's athletic community. These honorees are selected by the coaches and staff of the athletic department. We will begin our awards with the Student Team Manager of the Year. For our fans and our athletes, one rarely has to worry about the dozens of minor details that are critical to every game. Whether it's water on the bench, a video camera in the press box, 
The list of tasks unseen by you and I is substantial. So many little things have to be done to ensure the focus of the players and the coaching staff is on the game. Our unsung heroes are our team managers, those students that don't wear a uniform and who receive little or no recognition of their all-conference efforts. This year's Manager of the Year goes to our four-year baseball manager, Hannah Todd. And now for the Father Edward Roscoe Spirit Award. The Father Roscoe Spirit Award is presented annually to that Bishop Ireton student whose enthusiasm and selfless support of their classmates in athletics rises to the unique and exceptional level. This year's award goes to an individual that not only has cardinal spirit, but exudes cardinal pride. A dedicated and hardworking student athlete himself, he consistently found time to cheer on not only his teammates each spring, but fellow cardinals at games and events throughout the year. A true believer that it's great to be a cardinal, this year's Father Roscoe Spirit Award goes to Kieran Ferguson. The next four awards are truly the pinnacle of the athletic department's honors and are the most prestigious awards that can be bestowed upon an athlete at Bishop Ireton High School. We will begin with our Cardinal Award winners. The Cardinal Award is given annually to both a female and male athlete who has shown outstanding leadership qualities, both in their respective teams and in the classroom. The recipient is selected by a vote of the varsity coaches at the end of the year. This year's female Cardinal Award winner fits what has come to be the unwritten definition of the Cardinal Award, which is a player you wish you had 10 more just like them on your team. She consistently displays an exceptional work ethic and has a positive outlook. She's not only a gifted athlete, but she has the ability to raise the performance of everyone around her. Cheerleading's Kaylee Bala is our female Cardinal of the Year for 2019-2020. This year's male Cardinal winner hits every characteristic the award implies. Hustle, perseverance, commitment, loyalty, and plain old hard work, which define this athlete's career. He does the hard work, whether it's behind the plate or in the weight room. There's nothing he won't do to help his team or his school on or off the field. The 2019-2020 male Cardinal of the Year is Robert Lorge. The Father Godly Award for Excellence in Athletics is given annually to both the female and male athlete who has demonstrated outstanding achievement in multiple varsity sports. This award is commonly referred to as the Most Valuable Player Award and is determined by a vote of the varsity coaches. This year's Female Godly Award goes to an athlete who knows the importance of hard work and preparation. In the fall, she could be found in Godly Gym at 6 a.m. with workouts with her girls lacrosse team, and in the evenings on Fan and Field competing in the rugged WCAC with our field hockey team. She was recognized this fall by conference field hockey coaches as a first team all WCAC performer on offense. On the lacrosse field, she put those early morning workouts to good use as one of the top players in the Washington Catholic Athletic Conference, though the current pandemic cut short what was sure to be another exceptional season. Her on-field accomplishments were recognized by the conference coaches in her junior year as she was selected to the first team All-WCAC, making her Bishop Ireton's only senior athlete, male or female, to be selected to the first team all WCAC in both of her sports. In addition to her selection as an All-State Virginia Independent Schools Athletic Association field hockey player in her senior year and a lacrosse player during her junior year, you get Our Father Godly Most Valuable Player, Senior Mary Margaret Quinn. This year's male MVP goes to a multiple sport athlete whose athleticism was unmatched among his peers. You don't know whether to describe him as a soccer player that plays ice hockey or an all-conference ice hockey player that plays golf. We think you could choose any of those because our most valuable player excelled at all three. A leader on our soccer team in the fall, 
He captained Ireton's first ever WCAC Ice Hockey Champions and contributed four goals in the Cardinals title game win over Good Counsel. Though denied a senior season of golf, our 2020 Father Godly Award winner, Senior Graham Kalen, was headed for an exceptional golf campaign before the coronavirus sidelined the spring season. Congratulations to our athletic award winners and to all our senior athletes. As you leave Cambridge Road, we hope wherever you go, whatever you do, you will always be a Bishop Ireton Cardinal. Good afternoon, Most Reverend Bishop Burbage, Father Ferguson, Dr. Vorbach, Mrs. McNutt, Father Moray, clergy, Board of Governors, administrators, faculty, parents, friends and family, and the class of 2020. What a beautiful ceremony today. Thank you to all of our participants. This celebration is an example of the extraordinary tradition and legacy of Bishop Ireton High School. The class of 2020 has been putting its own stamp upon the Ireton legacy for the past four years, and it has been my distinct honor to watch this class grow over the past four years. You are enthusiastic, but patient, willing to try new things, but you never knew you would endure a COVID-19 time. And you are a class of service and kindness to others, but you are in need of our support and understanding during this difficult social distancing time. In scripture we hear, do not let your hearts be troubled about the past, nor anxious about the future, but be concerned about the moment you must live now, knowing that God's providence and love are enough. We have been fortunate to look at God's providence and love through the spirituality of St. Francis de Sales. I urge you to turn to the optimism and the joyous devotion of our gentle patron saint as you weather the day-to-day -day challenges that you face now and in the future. Embrace optimism and hope, always striving to improve or resolve any situation that you must confront. Remember the lessons for life that you have experienced as part of your journey and use them to help, to serve, and to advocate for others especially those less fortunate. Look at the world around you. Determine what goodness is and what a blessing is from God, and then become a steward of all that our Lord has created. Next, be generous and humble in your heart and spirit, and you will foster the same generosity and humility in others. And know that you will remain in our love and in our hearts, Every individual gathered today virtually for this celebration has been touched in his or her heart by one of the members of the class of 2020. And so your legacy continues. Finally, class of 2020, you are so unique. Be true to who you are and recognize your own talents. Share your faith and your God-given gifts and you will advance always. Thank you. I have been blessed to be your principal these past four years. Go Cardinals. Congratulations, class of 2020, and welcome to the Bishop Ireton Alumni Association. My name is Father Tom Ferguson. I'm the pastor of Good Shepherd Church in Alexandria. I'm a member of the Bishop Ireton class of 1984 and a member of the Bishop Ireton Alumni Association, along with my three brothers, two sisters, and now two nieces and two nephews, and even my dad, who's an honorary alumnus of Bishop Ireton. I know I'm stating the obvious and repeating a message you've heard countless times when I say that these are certainly unique circumstances in which you are graduating from Bishop Ireton. Along with each of you and your parents, families, friends, and the faculty and staff of Bishop Ireton, I share the disappointment that everyone feels in not being physically present together to celebrate this most important event in your lives. But 
As it's also been said many times in the past few weeks, social distance does not mean spiritual or emotional separation. And so let's be grateful for the love that unites us and enables us to be one in mind and heart during this time of celebration. The motto of St. Mary's Academy, alma mater of many of our fellow alumni, is Spes Unica, which is a reference to the cross of Jesus as our only hope. In these challenging days, the coronavirus is a cross whose weight is borne by many people in many different ways. But for us as Christians, the cross is always a sign of hope because it points us in the direction of resurrection and new life. In a similar way, and in the spirit of our own motto, Advance Always, as alumni of Bishop Ireton, we acknowledge the challenges you and so many others have experienced in recent days, weeks, and months. But we also look to the future and advance always, knowing that our risen Lord is with us at all times. Welcome again to our Bishop Ireton Alumni Association Class of 2020. On behalf of all who have come before you, we are proud of you, we love you, and count on us to support and encourage you as together we face our future with faith, courage, and hope. Your Excellency Bishop Burbage, Dr. Vorbach, Father Noah, Mrs. McNutt, Mrs. Tobin, Bishop Ireton faculty and staff, family, friends, and my fellow classmates, the class of 2020. The circumstances we find ourselves in today have made me realize how much we like to perpetually look forward. In a text or call in this time of social distancing, at least one of us is guaranteed to say, when this is all over, or when everything goes back to normal. It only makes sense. After all, we spent the last four years training our eyes towards the future. And Bishop Ireton High School has done a wonderful job in letting us know how promising that future can be. Ireton did what a college preparatory school sets out to do, prepare us for the next step. However, let's not forget, we also learned how to slow down and reconnect and considering our current health crisis, I'd like to do just that. I'd like to thank Ireton from our teachers all the way up to Bishop Burbage and our dedicated board of governors for your astounding support. I cannot wait to embrace my parents to demonstrate my thanks for their endless sacrifices throughout this journey. Finally, I would like to thank my classmates for their resilience, but first, because we care enough about each other to take the proper precautions, we will wash our hands. As well-informed students who now know which sources to trust and where to find them, not Wikipedia, never Wikipedia, I will refer to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for information and thorough explanation of how to wash our hands and why we should do so. Step one, wet your hands with clean running water turn off the tap, very important, let's not waste our resources, and apply soap. Why? Hands can be recontaminated if placed in a basin of standing water from previous use. Because we paid extra attention to Mr. Ballantyne's sacraments class, we know how water is used to transform, a tangible guide through a liminal moment. Ladies and gentlemen, that moment is now. As difficult as it might be to say goodbye, or as daunting as starting from scratch may be, we must not stand still. Instead, we must go forth and start anew. As Ireton students, we know that best. Advance always, we say, and advance always we will. Step two tells us to apply soap to lift soil and microbes from skin. A BI cardinal is gritty. So we're going to need a lot of soap after three years of construction, topped off with eating lunch in the gym for our first semester of senior year. In addition, we wrestled with the SATs, the ACTs, and the annotated bibliography. We have wiped tears from our cheeks after Kairos and sweat from our foreheads after a relay in PE. It was messy work, but it also made our skin thicker. 
We are leaving Ayrton knowing how to juggle several projects at once. We learned how vulnerability can lead to beautiful friendships, how one loss motivates us to an even sweeter win, and how a missed line sparks a funnier improvisation. Step three directs us to lather our hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Lathering and scrubbing hands creates friction, and we all need a little friction to make mistakes and learn. That fight with a friend taught you your priorities and ideals. That fight with yourself pushed you to aim higher and become a better person. That suppressed feeling of dread as you entered Miss Whitley's, Mr. Bass's, or Mrs. Jordan's office led to a pivotal moment in realigning your behavior. At least until your next mistake. But that's how we grow, isn't it? Step four tells us to scrub our hands together for at least 20 seconds. Need a timer? Hum the Live Jesus song from beginning to end. At first, it may seem out of place, but it's a good reminder of how living the Salesian values is accomplished through practicing the little virtues. To approach everyone and everything with optimism and hope. God has given us the precious gift of life, of a future. So be thorough and be gentle. Continue to do small things in life extraordinarily well. For it has taken us this far, and it will take us even further. Step five tells us to rinse our hands well under clean running water. You're getting a new slate, a fresh start. Water began this process, and water will finish it. However, amidst the change, it has also bound our sacramental lives together. So never forget who you have become, nor what you have learned. Remember the embraces on the fourth day. Remember the thrill of opening the doors to performance on stage or to the hackathon. Remember the teams that have been there for you and cheered for you. Remember the moments that have made you who you are and build on them. Step six is to dry your hands using a clean towel or air dry them. Yes, your hands are no longer covered in ink smudges from writing Miss Stegg's essays, paint from art class with Mrs. Eichler, or face paint from the beginning game of the football season in high school but nothing can wash away your impact. Your hands have done too much to forget. They have helped build a home for a family in Bonica. They have provided comfort for families in Camden. They have prepared food for Christ's house. However, I dry my hands so that I can connect with people again. As a better person who worked through the challenges, enjoyed the celebrations, and relished the relationships that high school presented. We dry our hands because we put others before us. We put their safety and their health before ourselves. Out of everything I learned from my time at Ireton, that's one thing I can't ever and don't ever want to wash away. Quarantine and social distancing have given me insight about us. We're meant for camaraderie, for community. We orient our lives towards our next moment together towards improving our relationships, towards widening the ways we can build them. I will wash my hands over and over again if it means I can spend more time deepening my relationships with you and valuing our time together because, as we quickly found out, that time can be taken away before we know it. Whatever we feel towards the future, take the time to savor the now because this is all we have. There are little treasures hidden in today, and to find them, we must always carry motivation, understanding, and joy. The future will come, but this is our moment. St. Francis de Sales said it best, let us think only of spending the present day well. Then, when tomorrow shall have come, it will be called today, and then we will think about it. So for right now, I'll wash my hands so that I can shake yours. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Your Excellency Bishop Burbage, Dr. Vorbach, Father Noah, Mrs. Tobin, administration, 
faculty, families, and those we celebrate with joy today, the class of 2020. While there are some of you in this class that I met when you were much younger, I first met most of you back in September. In September, I was the new addition to this place, bringing my leadership and love of the school, but also getting my feet wet, learning names, learning traditions, and finding my own connection to Salesian spirituality. The class of 2020 was an important part of my feeling of connection. It was your welcome, your warmth, your humor, your honesty, your flexibility with construction, and your spirit that let me know I was at home. In my first public greeting to the student body back in the fall, I recited and highlighted the three mottos that Bishop Ayrton is known for. Go Cardinals, advance always, and live Jesus. You may remember some of what I shared. The motto, Go Cardinals, makes sense, right? It's a school mascot, and the saying inspires team spirit and invokes school pride. You reeked of that motto through your cheers at events, through the cardinal crazies, body paint, through the spirit gear that you wore, through the athletic games and club events, the spirit rock, the friendships and the camaraderie. Through these past four years, you became a cardinal and you became an important part of the nest. While you will earn new colors and mascots from schools in your future, your cardinal colors and your go cardinal spirit will keep you connected to the friends, the faculty and staff, and now the alumni that will become a support group, a network for your future, and a family to return to time and time again. How about the motto, advance always, the one known so well to the earliest graduates? It's in our school crest. It's written clearly on the original class rings. Advance always has been rooted in this high school's dedication to outstanding academics. We are known for producing graduates who are prepared for higher learning, for the professional world, and for global challenges at every level. You are now those outstanding graduates ready for the next level. We are so proud of all that you've accomplished as a group and individually, and we are hopeful as we send you out to change the world, to become the next leaders, to find cures for viruses, to feed the poor, to create new ways to communicate, and to bring peace to a world yearning for it. We need you to advance always, and we are ready to see you fly. But it's Bishop Ayrton's motto, live Jesus, our Salesian call to live as Jesus taught us, that as I shared back in the fall, provides us with our biggest challenge. Jesus lived willingly in the service of his Father, and he showed us that true service to God is through service to one another. While this virtual event doesn't do justice to celebrating you and your accomplishments, it does provide us with one more opportunity as a school community to remember that our purpose is much bigger than a diploma or a celebratory event or a cap and gown. Our call is to live Jesus. 
You have provided your understanding of this call time and time again. Whether it was through your collaboration and help of one another on a project, your sportsmanship on a playing field, your emotion on the fourth day at a Kairos retreat, your opportunity to serve those in need on a Camden trip, your outreach to others during a global pandemic. As you finish at Bishop Ireton and make life choices, remember the example of St. Francis de Sales, who showed us through humility, gentleness, and simple acts of kindness done in genuine ways that we can be Jesus for others. Graduates, as you move forward, it is my hope for each one of you that you will use your Bishop Ireton mottos to help guide you. Let them be a foundation in times where you seek comfort, guidance, inspiration, hope, laughter, love, joy, and faith. And as you head off to collegiate studies, remember to come back and visit your alma mater. It will always be here, an important piece of your life's journey. Go Cardinals, advance always, live Jesus. Congratulations, class of 2020. Live Jesus, Jesus I love. Live Jesus, whom I love. Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Oh. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you were able to celebrate our seniors. May God keep them in his loving embrace as they move on to the next chapter of their lives. Advance always. Live Jesus. Go Cardinals. Hola, señora Brun. Solo quería darte las gracias. Gracias por enseñarme español y yo aprendí mucho. Um, thank you for always being there for us, even on our bad days. You were always willing to teach us and make sure that we actually understood what was going on. Te voy a extrañar el año que viene. Muchas gracias y adiós. Mrs. Agarides, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being such a great advisor for the past three years. And I loved getting to take driver's ed with you and learn about that. That was such a fun class. And you were just such a kind and positive presence. And I'm so happy that I got to learn from you every day in advisory. Thanks. Hi, Mr. A. I hope you and your family are staying healthy and well. Camille and I miss you so much. I hope you know the impact that you had on my time at Ireton. The joy, the fun, and the laughs I had in the four years as your student is immeasurable, and I can't imagine not having as a part of my high school experience. Knowing that Camille and I didn't get one last class with you is crushing, but I know that the memories made will last, so thank you. Vielen Dank, ich vermisse dich, und ich habe so viel lieb für dich. Bis später. Mr. Armstrong, thank you so much for being an amazing advisor. The memories that I've shared with you in our advisory over these past four years have been ones that I'll never forget, especially when we made s'mores an advisory retreat. I'm so grateful to have had an advisor like you and wish you all the best in the future. Hi, Ms. Barry. Thank you so much for being my English teacher a sophomore year and for making me successful in the rest of the English classes that I've taken and preparing me to go to college next year. I'm really going to miss you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Barger, for being someone that I can always look to for advice and guidance. You've been there for me since I was a freshman, and you're always a great listener. You taught me to strive for my goals and always go after what I want, and I'm really going to miss you next year. Hi, Mr. Berkman. Thank you for being such a great teacher and advisor these past few years of high school. One thing I will bring with me as I move on to college is how the real world is not like a country club. Thank you so much for everything you've done and you will be missed greatly. 
Brother Rick, I want to take a moment and thank you for all you have done for me during my time at Bishop Ireton. Over the past year especially, you have helped me grow so much both academically and spiritually. Academically, you helped me in writing papers and writing essays. Spiritually, you helped me build a better, closer relationship with God last year on Kairos. And this year, even our brief discussions, you helped me learn so much about life, about college, and about building a better relationship with God. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Bradford. I just want to thank you for all the support and guidance you've given me these past three years. A favorite memory of mine is when you came to one of the cheer competitions at Ireton, and I remember you congratulating me afterwards, and it just made me feel so special. So once again, thank you so much, and I'm going to miss you next year. Bye. Hi, Mrs. Bridie. Thank you so much for being the best teacher ever. I miss Photoshop class so much, and I miss coming to your room and printing things out last minute. Thank you so much for all you do for the Bishop Ireton community and for always putting a smile on our faces. Miss Cantio Bello, while I've only known you for a couple of years, I would just like to thank you for everything that you have done for me as my advisor. I'm thankful for all of the guidance you provided me, and I'm most especially thankful for your ability to bring our advisory together as a community. I'm going to miss seeing you every day after first period and working with you on the Adopt a Family fundraiser and advisory retreats. I look forward to hearing about how the advisory will grow in the future. Thank you, Mrs. C, for all that you do. We really appreciate all your work as an advisor and a teacher. I want to thank Mr. Crooker for putting up with me and Wes in the advisory and always telling us stories about his time at BI, like the, um, the guys playing on the hood in the parking lot and driving around, which never got to try out, but never know, maybe next year. Um, I also want to thank my mom for helping me through these four years. You know, she was a little closer in the day to day than I would have expected going through high school, but she uh, she works really hard and everybody appreciates it. Always tells me how much they love her, and yeah, it was awesome. Um, also, quick shout out to Dr. Murphy for always wanting to talk about TV shows and movies with me, which is really awesome. Mr. Curtin, thank you so much for being the most influential teacher that I have ever had. I cannot thank you enough for all the AP exam reviews, all of the presidential outlines, all of the Google Hangouts, and everything in between to help ensure the success of all of my peers, including myself. Uh, while it's important that you taught me about judicial review and about piggy banks and art history, I think the most important thing that you taught me is to take care of myself as a person to ensure my success as a student. I would not be where I am today without you, Mr. Curtin, and I cannot thank you enough for everything that you have done for me. Thank you, Mr. David, for all your help over the last four years with math tutoring, golf, and life lessons. You've truly made me a better person. Also, I'm excited to attend your alma mater in the fall thanks to your help. Go Bison. Hey, Mr. Dawson. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all that you've done this year, especially for our advisory. I was so happy to be in your advisory this year, and I really loved planning all of the special days for us, especially like advisory retreat and decorating our door. Thank you so much for all of your help on that, and thank you so much for all of the Jolly Ranchers that you provided me this year. Um, I'm really going to miss you next year, and I can't wait to come and visit. Hi, Mrs. Lorenzo. It's Emma here. Thank you so much for all your hard work and for everything that you've done. My mother and I appreciate all your hard work and everything that you've done for us, whether it was coursework, registration. You've been there through it all, so thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Hey, Miss Duffy. Thanks for being the only religion teacher at BI that I've been able to have twice, and for everything that you've done for me and my family. Going down to the Dominican Republic uh, on the mission trip last year was one of my favorite experiences at BI, and I'm really going to miss you next year when I leave for college. Hi, Ms. Eichler. I just wanted to say thank you for making advisory great these past four years and for always having those special hellos. I'm sad that we won't get to do Senior Smoothie Palooza, but maybe I'll have to come back and do it another time. I'll miss your sassy comments and your never-ending compassion. I love you, and I'll see you whenever. Hi, Ms. Sweaty. I'm making this video to thank you for everything that you do for your students and for Bishop Ireton. We all appreciate you so much, and physics class is one of the highlights of my day. My favorite memory from physics was physics day last year where we went to Six Flags, and also coming into physics class every day and seeing a new physics pun on your t-shirt. I'm super sad that our physics time got cut short this year, but hopefully the situation will improve and we'll all be able to celebrate together. Thank you for everything that you do, and we love you. <laughs> Bye. Father Noah, I would like to take a second and thank you for everything you have done for me this year. You have helped me grow so much in my faith, and I have learned so much from you. I especially loved serving Mass with you at school. I'm going to miss you a lot next year. Thank you. Ciao, Miss Cosia. 
I just want to say thank you for being such an amazing teacher. I have learned so much from you in these last four years of Italian class. Thank you for always going above and beyond for each and every single one of your students. I honestly would not have survived high school without your bright, bubbly, and energetic personality. I will definitely miss all of your really wild and fun Kahoot dances. Thank you so much for everything. Hi, Ms. Gitlin. Thank you so much for everything over the last two years or so. Um, thank you for teaching me all the, the ins and outs of economics and, and always making me laugh. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that you let me make your advisory a, a safe haven for me to come in and, and talk about random things. Um, I really appreciate you and thank you for writing me a letter of recommendation. You rock and stay awesome, Ms. Gitlin. Have a great summer. Bye. Hey, Mr. Gordon. I just wanted to say thank you so much. I've had the pleasure of being in your math class for the last three years. And math's a very difficult subject to teach, but you've made it so fun and easy for us. Whenever we needed you, you were there in the mornings to help. And uh, it's very difficult to be able to joke around with a teacher, but you always had a great sense of humor, Mr. Gordon. I really appreciate that about you. And I just had so many great memories the last three years. And I think the one that sticks out the most was, it was one of the math tests you were asking us to find the velocity function of a particle traveling around Wally's world. I don't even know if I got the problem right, but I just wanted to say thank you so much and I'm so grateful for having known you the last three years. Take care. On behalf of the class of 2020, thank you, Ms. Gorman. I just want to say thank you, Mr. Griffiths, for everything you did the past two years. He was my advisor. Uh, we had some memorable times and I'll miss it next year. Thank you very much. Hey, Dr. Guy. Uh, I'd like to thank you for being my advisor for my senior year at Ireton. I appreciate all that you've done, especially during the times of adopted family, advisory retreats, playing the parties. Uh, you definitely kept us seniors in check and kept us on task to be leaders. Uh, you were very generous and very easy to approach. And I hope that the advisory will continue to flourish because it definitely was a great way to start off my days at Ireton. And I'm thankful for that. Mr. Hall, first I want to thank you and Mrs. McCarthy for being my only advisor who stayed more than one year. I always look forward to advising with you guys because you made it so fun by having activities ready for us for each holiday and by having us make an advisory theme and always having goodies and celebrations for everyone in advisory. You made us all feel welcomed and I will miss seeing you guys every day next year. Hi, Ms. Hall. I just wanted to take this time to say thank you for everything that you've done for all of us, all the seniors in One on Someone. I'll always remember because of you how high to hold my chin, how to tell when I'm being incredibly sharp or flat, and always to raise my stand. <laughs> thank you. I just want to say thank you to Mrs. Henry for not only being the best director, but for also being our biggest fan. We thank you so much for just all the dedication and effort you put into our shows. We just know how much you truly care about us, not only as actors, but as like people. Um, I'm going to miss you so much next year. I'm going to miss talking to you about choreography, publicity, playbill, just about the show in general during lunch. And I'm going to miss your banana bread on Saturdays. Um, just thank you so much for being such a big part of my high school experience. Hi, Mr. Hollick. I hope you're doing well. Um, I heard we were doing a senior farewell video. I had to sign up for you. You've been a... Uh, great teacher, great influence on me over the past three years. Um, your class never failed to make me laugh or smile. Um, you're a really funny guy. You've always, um, you've always been very kind to me in class and uh, you always found funny ways to teach us the lettuce, commodity wars, the books. It's been a great three years and uh, I wish you the best. Hi, Mr. Jake, and it's Rebecca. Um, it's my goodbye video to you. I just want to let you know that even though I didn't have you as a teacher, You've taught me many valuable lessons about my faith life that I'm going to carry with me into college. Um, it means a lot to me that you learned my name after I was 15 and you got to know me. Um, so, you know, stay safe during this time. I'll be praying for you. Um, wash your hands, stay healthy, and live Jesus. Bye. Thank you, Mrs. Jones, for being one of the first people to welcome me to Bishop Ireton. The library is home to some of my best high school memories. Thank you for being there to talk or recommend books before I knew anyone at school and for still being there even after I did. Hi, Mr. Kearns, it's Carly. I just wanted to say thank you. I really enjoyed being in your advisor this year and I wish you the best in the future. Mrs. Kelly, thank you so much. 
whether it's for the hackathon, for Coding Club, for Cyber Patriot, or for any of the numerous classes that I've had with you, you have always been there for me. You have helped me become a better leader, a better student, and a better person. And I cannot even begin to properly thank you for all that you have really done for me and all you have sacrificed for me. Thank you. I wanted to thank Mr. Kearns for being such a great advisor. Um, our advisory was really just a time to chill out, be comfortable, not have to stress, and just have fun. So thank you for that, and we'll miss you. Hi, Mr. Casco. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me over the last four years. I remember how nervous and quiet my singing was freshman year, and now I'm so much more confident. You made the choir classroom feel like home, and then I always had somebody I could talk to. I miss coming to see you every day, but I'm so glad I got to spend the last four years with you. Thank you, Mrs. Lake, for everything that you do. We really appreciate all your work in counseling. Leslie, uh, I just want to say thank you for the past four years, especially with freshman and senior English and journalism. I'm never going to forget this writing skills that you taught me and just the confidence you gave me as a writer and just as a person. And I'm never going to forget journalism <laughs> sophomore year and all the fun times we had with me and Maya in the classroom. Um, thank you. Hi, Mrs. Lee. Thank you for starting Chinese at BI and for helping us out at the Asian American Heritage Club. We really appreciate it and we'll miss you. Hey, Mr. McDougal, Mr. Smith, uh, just want to sit, reach out and say thanks for everything that you did for me and for the school uh, while you guys have been here. Uh, Mr. Smith, congratulations on the, on the kids and uh, I hope all is well. I hope you're staying safe. Um, can't wait to see you guys when everything is um, back to normal. And yeah, I just want to say thanks for everything. Hi, Ms. Markison. I just wanted to thank you on behalf of the class of 2020 for everything that you do for us. Thank you so, so much for making government one of my favorite classes this year. And thank you so much for being one of my favorite teachers. You always encourage us and push us to be the best students that we can be. We appreciate you and we love you. Thank you so, so much. Hi, Ms. Barton. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being my teacher, for being a teacher at Bush Barton, for being an amazing faculty member, an amazing mom. Um, I wanted to say that I think that your class was the best class that I've taken at Bush Barton. It was so fun and you made it such an easy environment to learn in. And I just wanted to say thank you, you know, because you have been an inspiration in my life. And I know that that's probably true for lots of people. And a very special thank you for writing my college recommendation letter. I'm really going to miss you, Miss Martin. Bye. This goes out to Miss Maruli. Uh, this is just a big thank you uh, for all you do uh, for the Ireton community, the hockey team. You're a great guy. Thanks for always taking time out of your day to uh, talk to us and help us. And just for me, the seniors, and everyone of the Ireton community, thank you. Howdy, Mrs. McCarthy. It's your girl, Claire. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being my advisor. I had so much fun. Uh, wish me luck in college. See you around. Thank you, Sister Elizabeth Ann, for being a wonderful advisor for the past four years. It always meant a lot to me that you would buy Nutri-Green bars for your advisees so none of us would skip breakfast. I miss seeing you every day, and I'm grateful to have been in your advisory. Hey, Ms. McCoon, I just wanted to let you know how grateful I am for all your help this year with teaching me how to peer mentor, and I'm especially going to miss all the times so we would play hangman or card games after we were done with our work. Hi, Ms. McNutt. I just wanted to say thank you for the past couple of years with SWIM and SCA and graphic design. I really appreciate it, and I'll never forget it. I'll never forget the leadership skills that you've taught me, and I'll never forget uh, states this year and all the good times we had as a team. Thank you. Hey, Mrs. McNutt. We just wanted to say that we're so happy that you came to our school this year, and we're so thankful for all that you do, and that we're really going to miss you next year. Thank you. Hola, Senor Moglia. Thank you for everything that you do. We really appreciate all your hard work and all your lessons in Spanish. Thank you. Mrs. Malerby, thank you so much for supporting me throughout high school. Not only have you allowed me to grow as a student in the classroom, but as a person through mock trial. I'll always remember the fun memories or TikToks that we've made at competitions or even just at practice in the classroom. I'm so glad you asked me to join mock trial sophomore year because it has truly made my high school experience very special. Remember, I'm not going too far for college, so if you ever need help with mock trial, let me know. Thank you, I miss you, and I hope I'll see you soon. 
Hi, Dr. Murphy, it's Ella. I just wanted to say how grateful I was that I had a teacher like you for AP Lang last year. You were probably one of my first friends at Bishop Ireton coming as a transfer. And I really just appreciate having an entire year to critique Peter Kreeft and talk about Fahrenheit 451. So I hope you'll say hi to Boss Dog for me and I'll see you soon. Thank you, Mr. N. I just wanted to say I appreciate having you as an advisor this past year. And as an incoming senior, you really welcomed me into your advisory. Although you never were my teacher for any classes or anything, you still taught me the importance of faith and positivity in day-to-day -day life. I just want to say thank you. Mr. M, you are so gentle and so kind and have a sweet and pure heart. You always say hello to me whenever you see me and brighten up my day. You have sacrificed your energy and your time for me in the hackathon, in coding club, and in Cyber Patriot. And for that, I'm truly thankful. And I know that you would do the same for any of your other students. Thank you. Hi, Mr. O'Hara. I just want to thank you so much for everything that you've done for me throughout high school. I really wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for you. I just want to thank you so much for always being in my corner, always having your door open in the event I needed anything. I really appreciate all the little things that you've done, all the great opportunities that you've given me to succeed and to be a servant leader, especially my senior year. I just want to thank you so much, and I want you to know how much I appreciate you and how much I'm going to miss you next year. Thank you so much. Ms. O'Leary, thank you for everything you've done for me as a student and for everybody else at Ireton, and I greatly appreciate that. One thing I learned from you, the biggest thing I learned was that even if I had a list of schools that I really wanted to go to, there was always more options, probably even better than the ones I found. And a memory that I have with you is probably just you helping me and me getting to tell you the good news for the colleges that I would got into. So thank you very much. Hey, Ms. Pilon, soon to be Mrs. Chansey. I wanted to thank you for making my experience at BI a little more special. You made time to listen to me even when you were busy sorting through books or planning for the next day. Being able to come into the library after school and chat with you about everything and anything, from recent writing endeavors to our love of Lord of the Rings, was something that I always looked forward to. I know you'll love West Virginia, and I know I'm going to miss you when I go off to college. Hi, Mr. Rauer. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me in my high school career. I remember when I came in as a freshman, I was super shy and quiet. And after Maddie dragged me to my first Model UN meeting, I couldn't even find the courage to raise my placard. Now, after four years, I'm a certified gavel hunter and my transformation is all thanks to you. You pushed me to be myself and be that well. Model UN has helped me to find my voice and my passion and I feel like I've grown so much as a person because of it. Having you as a mentor has truly been one of the greatest gifts I've been able to receive in high school. And I'm grateful for you each and every day. So I hope you're staying safe and enjoy the rest of the year at home. Miss Reed, you became my advisor when I started my junior year. And even though our time together has been cut short, unfortunately, I'm really grateful for all the memories that we've made um, in the past year and a half. Like um, for advisory retreat my junior year, we we made breakfast and we had scrambled eggs and bacon outside in the courtyard. Um, and you helped sort of put it all together and you provided the food for us um, to be cooked. And I you are one of the kindest people I've met and I'm going to miss you greatly. Hey, mom. Um... So I know I'm not your student, but I feel like you've done more for me than any of my teachers could have or you could have done for any of your students. So I wanted to make this thank you for you. Um, I don't know. I think all of the memories are pretty good, but I think nothing gets better than you yelling down the hall, threatening to beat me with your shoe. I'm gonna miss you. Hi, Miss Sample. It's Kyla. Thank you so much for everything that you have done, especially for the class of 2020. I really appreciate everything that you have done for us in the short amount of time that we had together, and I wish you all the best. Hi, Miss Praja. I just got to say thank you so much for being my advisor this year. It was such a surprise when I came in first day of school and I saw you as my advisor. I was so excited because I remember you as my sub last year for art, and just got to say thank you so much for an amazing year. This has been a year that's unforgettable. 
So thank you so much for that. How you doing, Ms. Slayton? Um, I wanted to thank you personally for all the work you've done for the engineering program here at BI. Um, you're a wonderful teacher. You've taught us a lot about engineering, simple machines, how to program robots. Um, I personally had a blast this year with the field trips and learning new stuff. Um, biggest memory with you is probably you sharing stories about your engineering career before you came to BI. I would like to say a huge thank you to Ms. Stegg and for all that she's done for me over the past four years, starting with advisory freshman year and then AP Euro sophomore year and then Kairos 13 junior year and then Kairos 16 and group four senior year. Ms. Stegg, I am so grateful for your positive outlook on life and the constant love and support that you've shown me over the past four years. Thank you, Ms. Stegg. Thank you, Mr. Thomas, for being a great advisor and checking up on us and always making sure that we're okay and for keeping our advisory together and for always having donuts on Friday. Hi, Ms. Tobin. I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done for your seniors over the past four years. I especially want to thank you for the opportunities you've given me to work with you in the science camp over the summer and to work with Mount St. Mary's this semester. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Toms. I just wanted to say thank you so much for being such an amazing advisor. You always made advisory super fun. I always left advisory with a big smile on my face because of your positivity and energy. And I will never forget our amazing advisory retreats where we ate Chipotle and played Ninja. So I just wanted to say thank you and I can't wait to come visit you next year. Hi, Mrs. Tunick. I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything over these past four years. Thank you all the way from teaching me in honors bio freshman year to AP bio junior year and for being the Cherry Through Medicine Club moderator and always bringing snacks and supplies to the meetings. Um, and thank you for writing my letter of recommendation for college and just for being a great teacher and amazing role model. And because of you and your classes, I discovered my interest in biology and medicine. And now I'm going to college to major in biology. So I just want to say thank you so much. Um, have a fantastic summer and I'll miss you next year. Hey DVAC, I hope you're doing well. I just wanna thank you personally for everything you've done for me over the last four years of high school. For making soccer my junior season and advisory very memorable to me. I also want to thank you for helping me with my very long college process. I'm going to miss you a lot, but I can't wait to visit. Thank you, Ms. Wiggett, for being my biology and anatomy teacher. I really loved learning inside of the classroom and also for being one of my cross country and track coaches. I had a great time getting to know you during practice and during meets. You were always out there supporting us no matter what, and I will definitely miss it next year. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Fiducci. I just wanted to say thank you so much for an awesome year. I got so lucky being in your homeroom this year. You were so welcoming, and I really appreciate everything you do and all of your fun heels. Anyways, thank you, and I'm going to miss you. Thank you so much, Mr. Wolman, for always being such a great advisor. You always gave the best advice, and advisory was always so much fun. I'll always remember you and Harper and the time you showed us what bunny yoga was. I appreciate you for being there for all of us over the past few years. Hey, Brother James, I just wanted to say thank you for being an amazing advisor to us, even though it was for a short period of time. And I just want you to know that even though it was short, uh, you definitely left a mark on all of us, and you taught us all the importance of patience and flexibility in a constantly changing environment. So I just wanted to say thank you for being a great advisor and a really awesome mentor. Mr. Weiss, what is up? Even though our time together is short, I have learned many things about you through you being my advisor. Number one, very good slapjack player. Probably sauced me every time, but I definitely got you back in some Uno games. Number two, basketball skills, pretty subpar if I say so myself. <laughs> Number three, absolute menace on the kickball field. You definitely my first pick in gym class. But the most important thing I learned about, about you this year is that you're a great person with a great sense of humor, and I wish you nothing but the best in the future. Hi, Mrs. White. This is Gabby Garcia. On behalf of the entire senior class, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done during your career at Bishop Ireton and that we're going to miss you so much.